So a lot of you know I have a Harbor Freight trailer and it's really difficult to back it up close to the building uh, where it sits and I need a way to get it closer and you can't really see with the uh, vehicle we pull the trailer with and it's uh, a four foot wide trailer and you know the vehicles I don't know six or seven feet wide or whatever it is so we need a, a way to uh, manually move the trailer closer to the building you know so we don't hit anything with a uh, vehicle or something so I figured now granted there's another couple things I could have done I could use the cub I don't really want to have to do that I don't want to have to go up here and go get the tractor all to a hook and unhook and this and that to move the trailer so I figured I would buy something like this so this is the Hallmaster heavy duty trailer dolly a 600 pound capacity a 1 and 7 8 inch ball and a 10 inch wheel diameter and these are uh, pneumatic tires uh, cushion grip handles and item number six zero five three three so let's unbox this thing I've already taken the four uh, straps off of this thing that you know hold the two halves of the boxes together I was looking online for other ones and they have they have they sell other ones with a third wheel there's like a caster wheel here where this bracket is and then there is also a an adjustable tongue height. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another put an extension on this with um, you know buy a tube maybe from Harbor Freight and weld it to it. And then I can raise and lower the ball you know with basically a two inch receiver on this. And it'll be nice to easily move the trailers around with something that's better than you know trying to do it by hand or whatnot. So this is exactly how this thing comes. I have not messed with this thing whatsoever. So there is a manual for this thing. And obviously we don't really need that. Well, actually I might. The instructions for putting this thing together are in here. So you get two pneumatic tires. And those of you that know it, about dealing with these small tires... They always seem to leak and you know they'll go flat on you so then you have to pump them up again well on these ones which is actually really nice these there's a tube in here so they put a teeny tiny little tube in here in both of these yeah so that's pretty cool hopefully the tube won't leak and that is awesome I, I really like that anything with the small tires always seems to leak here's the bag of hardware to put this together and this is the piece uh, for the back there's that and this, one, this is the main tongue itself And there is two nice handles on this thing, which I like. And this must be the main, yep, this is the axle. I mean, it looks pretty well built. I mean, considering I paid, I don't know, like 30, no, not 30, maybe 50 bucks, 55. I think it was 55, $55 for that. And then, these are some more random pieces. Uh, two more pieces there. So I'll figure out how to uh, put this thing together. 
and then we'll go from there. But it seems pretty, I mean, it seems pretty well made so far. You will need a, this is, since this, this, whatever the um, metric equivalent of three quarters is, since this is Chinese made, it's all metric, and a 17 millimeter socket, and I put out, I'm using a 17 millimeter wrench also, and since I can, we're going to speed this up, we're going to use the Milwaukee Impact, and hopefully that'll make things go a lot faster, so let's put this thing together. I had originally said that you would need a 27 millimeter socket to put this together. You will actually need a 27 millimeter wrench or an adjustable wrench to put the ball on. You will need to put the washers on first before you put the tires on. I made the mistake of putting one of the cotter pins and the tire on first. So tire first, then washer, then cotter key. Uh, put, the directions were pretty good. They weren't the best ones that I've ever seen. I was able to put this together pretty much by just looking at the directions. Uh, this, the main handle tube, I wish they would have capped the one end because there is a bolt that is that goes on the end of this thing. And if you tighten it down too much, you will crush the end of the tube. So uh, just be aware of that. I'm putting on the bottom piece now where uh, the dolly sits down on. And I, uh, what I did was I just put everything together hand tight and you know, made sure I didn't have any extra hardware left over, which I didn't. Uh, there's usually for everything there's a washer, a, a lock, um, not a lock nut, a lock washer and then just a regular nut. So you put the bolt in, a washer, a lock washer, and then the nut. So it's, I wish they would have included a, a lock nut, but you know, it's, remember I spent $55 on this thing, so I'm not gonna complain. Uh, this thing seems to be pretty well made. I do wish the top piece where the, um, Two, or the inch and seven eighths ball is at. I wish that was a little thicker. I may at some point strengthen that also, but you know we'll see how how long it lasts for now. Here's what the trailer dolly looks like. Fully assembled. I have the inch and seven eighths ball on top. Uh, all the wheels are on. All the bolts are tight. Uh, a couple little modifications I might make. I want to extend this ball higher up. I might buy a piece of a square tube or something, uh, put a fl flat piece on top of it, and then put the ball on top of that. It'd be nice if it was adjustable. That would be really nice. Another thing I might make is an adjustment on this bar here. So this bar at the bottom... Let me get on some flat concrete here. These handles are rather low. They're not very tall off the ground. And it is probably, so it's this piece right here that I want to make the adjustment to. These handles are a whopping 21 inches off the ground to the middle. To the middle of the handle and it's not if you're really tall you're gonna have to bend over to uh, pick that thing up um, I'm sort of short enough to pick that up but how I'd actually store this thing is I would actually put it on the ball just like that and then it makes the handles a lot higher up so let's go see how this thing works and then we'll go from there Those of you that watched my channel will recognize this trailer here. This is the Jeep trailer. And you guys can see my problem here. So we're, we have it setting on a block of wood right now. And it's fine, but we're about three inches, four, uh, probably maybe six inches shy of the, of the tongue here. So 
That's not going to work on that trailer. I mean, it'll work, but I just have to go over there and I have to raise the jack up, get this block of wood out of here, lower it back down, and then put the ball underneath there, and then I can move this trailer around. So actually, I'll, uh, I'll do that real quick here so you guys can see. And this trailer has probably 100 or 200 pounds of tongue weight. It's very, very, very heavy. So this is, this is exactly what I'm trying to eliminate here, this, this right here. That might be enough. So basically you just put this thing under here. Uh, nope, that's not enough. Now that's better. So now I can move this whole trailer, whole trailer around if need be. And this thing weighs about 900 pounds and we're just moving it on level ground here so this thing is really nice to have it does take some effort to push a trailer that's this big but it does work and i can put this thing exactly where i want it and whenever i'm done i just take the trailer dolly out and then i have to raise this thing back up again and then put the block of wood under it. And this piece of wood is perfect for uh, the mowers and stuff, which is really what we use to move this trailer with. So, I mean, it sort of works for that, but what I want to do is I want to make this, I want to make the ball here. I want to make that adjustable so you know I can adjust this thing as needed but the main trailer that we we'll use this thing with is the Harbor Freight trailer and I'll show you that one now so this is my Harbor Freight trailer it's the 1721 you know, folding and everything and we're running into the same issue here I think this thing's even taller, so I would need even a taller piece of steel to move this trailer around with. So I have to lower this thing down. Is it going the right way? So you put this thing under here, and now that it is up, I can move this trailer around pretty darn easily, and I can get it exactly where I where I want it on the concrete. And then whenever I'm done, I just lift it off, and voila. So you can easily position trailers and stuff. But that ball definitely needs to be taller. And I'd actually what I'd really like to do is I'd like to put a caster on here. And then I can just uh, put the caster down and then move this thing however I want to. So there's probably going to be some modifications I'm going to do to this thing. Put a caster here and then uh, make that ball taller or adjustable. I, that's really what I'd like to do is to make that thing adjustable. And I still have to put some more, uh, I have to put air in the tires and they're rated for 30 PSI and 300 pounds each. So I'm gonna put them right at 30 PSI and then hopefully I won't have to fill them up again since they have the tubes in them. So. All in all, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this thing. I'm, I'm just kind of being, a, I guess, a little nitpicky, but 
you know, th this thing was $55, and the other ones I was looking on lines, the one with the casters and the ones with the adjustable ball up top, those things were a whopping, I don't know, 200 to 250 so, or no, 200 to 350 so, you know, a quarter the price, or uh, less, less than a quarter of the price, I have this thing, and I can make some modifications and stuff to it, but it's really, I really think it's money well spent, so I'm glad I got it, and uh, it's really not, it was not difficult to assemble. Uh, the wheels and stuff do have, there's a lot of weeble wobble in them, and uh, it's, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, but I'm pretty happy with it, so. Hope everyone enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I also wanted to tell you guys, I also have an Instagram page that I post advanced content to. So if you wanted to see what upcoming videos are going to be like, uh, go over and follow me on Instagram, love to boat 92 And uh, you can see uh, what I post in advance for stuff like this. You know, they, they, they'll get it maybe a day or two early before the YouTube video goes out. So, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hopefully we will see you all in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching.